Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. In this vlog, I'm going to bring you along with me as I start to create new normals. Um, I'm just continuing on this journey of trying to take you guys along with me as I navigate life during a separation and a divorce and being single again and the steps that I'm taking to make that um, an easier process because as many of you have shared with me, you know that this is hard and life is not as I pictured it, what I planned on. The reason that I keep vlogging this experience is that I hope my story might help someone out there, one of you that might be going through the same thing and needs some help. I certainly am not an expert. I'm just doing the best that I can do and I'm sharing it with you guys. So if that helps one person, then I feel like um, this video is worth it. So um, I've gotten so much support from you guys and I just love you so much. And so in this week's vlog, we're gonna start working on the next steps, the next steps in creating this new normal. All right, so we're gonna work on redoing this bedroom. First things I want to do is just make it my own. Plus we were in the middle of redoing this room and so I didn't feel like it was complete anyway, so what better time to make it my own. I don't like all the black curtains. Um, I just don't like it. Um, so I definitely want to make this room lighter, brighter, happier. And so we've got some new things. I just ordered all this from Amazon and it finally came. Um, I tried to do this as much on a budget as possible. So I did get some pretty decent buys. Um, if I didn't have to replace all the curtains, it would have been better, but so let's start with that. So this room has lots of windows and we get the morning sun. So I do need blackout curtains, but I don't want them to be black. So I ordered some white curtains. I think that will brighten up this space a lot. Um, so I'm excited about that. So I've got white curtains. You're gonna see a theme here. I have white Curtains for the French doors. I do have French doors in this room, so I have white curtains for that. This is gonna be good, guys. I got a white comforter. But my vision for this room is, yes, that's a lot of white, but I wanna accent with some greens and blues because I have a side table that is like a turquoise color and the walls are like this grayish color. So I wanna kind of accent the white with some greens and blues. So I got these sheets. I'm so excited about these sheets. Um, they do have flowers on them and you can see the greens and the blue. And so I'm gonna be using these sheets. And my vision for this room is then I will get some green and blue or one of each or I don't know, throw pillows. I also want to get um, something for the walls too. So I'm going to bring you along with me. We're going to transform the bedroom. Thank you. 
Okay, so phase one done. Um, I've got the white curtains up here hung, you can see. I have my new French door curtains up. Um, the curtains, and then you can see those curtains, and here is my bedding. I'm really loving this comforter. It's kind of hard for you to see, but it's like crinkle cut. <laughs> french fries no i love those new sheets they are egyptian cotton so soft i love those colors i need more pillows so i'm gonna be going to get more pillows the comforter did come with shams so i want to get two more pillows for the shams and then the colorful decorative pillows there so now for the decor i obviously need something for these walls right here which is beside the bed if you remember his guitars were hanging there no more so i want something inspirational and beautiful there i had this in a different room and i brought it in here because i thought it, it tied well with the colors and so i want to get some flowers to arrange here and you know decor for this shelf and i also need some decor for that corner there were guitars there as well but Here's phase one. It's very bright and cheery. I think once I get the decorative pieces, it will really tie it together. Hey y'all, it's the next day and I'm ready for phase two of this room makeover. So we did some shopping yesterday to get a last few accent items, um, things like that. So I went to TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby. So let me give you a haul and then let's get this room finished. Okay, so I did go to Target and get two more king size pillows for the bed. <clears throat> but I went to Hobby Lobby. Walked around what seemed like forever because I could not make up my mind. But I did find this gorgeous sage green throw pillow. It's like knitted, woven, I don't know, on the front. So I'm gonna use that. And since I do have that French door, I got a sage doormat rug to use at the door. And then I found this wall piece which i love to surround myself with words of affirmation so that i read it and maybe the more i read it the more i will internalize it so i saw this and it says difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations i like that and it's got the wood here but then it also hangs by this black beads so i thought that would tie together my furniture pieces because my furniture pieces i have couple black pieces and then one natural piece. So I thought that would tie that together pretty well. So I'm excited to try that out. And I saw this, since that hangs like from a, a decorative piece, I'm gonna try this because I didn't just want a nail in the wall. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on like a decorative hanging piece. So I didn't even know they made these, but this is a command strip but it's that pretty little knob. So I thought I would try that and see. It says it holds up to two pounds. So I thought that was really cute. I didn't even know they made these. So none of this is sponsored by the way. I was not sponsored by any of these stores or items. All right, so that was from Hobby Lobby. Oh, and I also got, they were having a pretty good sale. 50% off on wall decor. 50% off on florals. So for my vase, I got something that's white and green and I thought that would tie in well with my thing. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. Now let's go to TJ Maxx. From TJ Maxx, I was looking for another wall hanging and a throw that would match the green. 
And so here's what I found. Look at this throw. I was so excited because I think it's going to look so good with my pillow. And that'll add some color to the bedding. So I got this throw. And I also got this. This is because I just happened to walk by and see it. And I've been thinking about it and, and thinking, hey, I would like to try some of that. And just not done it. But this is a deep sleep pillow mist. So you spray it on your pillow at night. And this is the lavender and chamomile. I love lavender. And so I had been, you know, looking at candles and things like that. But I wanted something that I could smell while I'm sleeping. So, um, of course, I could get a diffuser or something. But anyway, I don't have that yet. But this was only $4. So I got that to try. And then finally, I got... another wall decor. I wanted something a little bigger um, to put on the wall. I also wanted it to kind of contrast what I've been doing elsewhere in the room. Um, so I just thought this was pretty because I love wildflowers. So it's a black frame with the white and then just a print of wildflowers. So that's what we're going to do with this room for now. I mean, there's always ways you can add things to the room, but for now, that's gonna complete the room. So uh, let's get it finished up. So there we go. I am so excited about my bedroom. Um, I can always add more pieces. Uh, I need some more things for that shelf and some more things for the walls. Um, but I'm very pleased. It makes me feel a sense of renewal in a space that's all my own and it was fun. So if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments below. What else should I add to make this space even more beautiful? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for walking along beside me on this journey and I'll see you in the next one guys. I love you. Bye.